Are you using the most up-to-date dental system software version? Over the last few years, we've developed and released plenty of updates that can make your lab work easier. Check if you are aware of all of them. Let's go through some of the major changes and updates that were released for every dental system module since the 2019 version. Apart from improved speed and stabilization across the whole system, there have been general improvements to Dental Manager and Dental Designer. Over the years, we've been optimizing material management. You can now search for a material by typing its name in the search box and mark restorative materials as favorites in the order form, making the selection process much faster. We've been focusing on making sure you have all relevant information in your design process. The ability to use color scan files in PLY format was introduced in 2020. In addition to this, the much-awaited possibility to add additional scans and align them to your case was added, which has enabled users to, for instance, utilize face scans in the design process. But more on this power tool later. In 2021, for Dental Manager, the 3D preview window was improved with scan quality analysis and occlusal clearance, along with bite check features which gives you the possibility to thoroughly assess the quality of the received case prior to accepting it or validate the quality of the designed restoration. Next, we'll have a look at the prepare step. We know that sometimes interoral scan data can contain issues that make your design process miserable. The introduction of the refined scans tool made it possible to detect and fix various potential troublemakers in intraoral scan data, which in turn makes the rest of the design process considerably smoother. Also, the trim scan step was renewed with a brush selection tool and a smoother outline for selection of the full scan. In 2021, AI made its first appearance in dental system with the placement of the occlusal plane and sectioning of the models which helped to automate and streamline the design process. We also introduced the 3D web preview, meaning that any case in dental system can be used to generate a link and be shared immediately, ensuring that the analog dentist can still get a digital preview of your work, even when not using three shape solutions yet. Dental Designer, on the other hand, has been equipped with a new virtual preparation feature with which you can design the provisional restoration and virtual preps can be created based on provisional design. A model can be produced with the virtual preparations and the dentist can use the model as guidance for prepping the patient's teeth. Since it was introduced, the evolution of the additional scans tool continued with several new features. To start with, the additional scans can be modified with the Sculpt tools. You can now select and combine scans from the design and save them in various file types. You can now also use the additional scans for copying the design. The tool now gives great flexibility and agility, even in complex cases where one scan and one alignment just are not enough. Finally, within the last year, we brought even greater performance improvements in Dental Manager, as well as the ability to create tailor-made order forms that your TRIOS customers can utilize and unite, and a possibility to promote your lab in the Unite Store. We've also implemented ways to easily communicate with the clinic. An integrated clinic lab chat is available at any design step, as well as 3Shape Communicate and you can even take screenshots of your design and add notations and text on them. Images are saved with the case information and sent to the clinic afterwards. You can also share the design and case status with the clinic. Patient jaw motion tracking and face bows have experienced a rise in popularity over the last couple of years, and we've of course introduced all the relevant integrations in dental system. 
The jaw tracking information from Mojaw and Zebris systems can now be used to perfect dynamic contacts for prosthetics. The ability to import data from various FACEBO systems is now possible with the new format. For those of you working with implants, whether it be bridges or bars, plenty of new tools have been introduced. The improvements in implant bridge workflows started in 2020 and have continuously improved until this day. Let's have a look. It's now easy to create implant bridges where the implant is not situated directly under one of the crowns, as the emergence profile is now connected to any part of the bridge instead of being associated to a specific crown. The implant bridge workflow is more flexible and does not require order form changes when the clinical situation does not exactly match the order. We introduce the Gingivator 3.0 for advanced implant bridges, offering both better automatic as well as manual tools for optimizing pink aesthetics on fixed restorations. The year 2022 also brought some delightful additions to the implant bar design workflow. In addition to the undo and redo buttons, you can now edit the bar profile during the design, which makes on-the-go editing of the primary bar design much more flexible and faster than before. Are you creating working models for intraoral scans? Well, we've got you covered. Starting with Model Builder in 2020, the tool for creating a separate gingiva element for implant cases was improved to give full control over the segmented area. It's now possible to merge a model with any type of restoration in Model Builder for dental system. A new step in all Model Builder workflows allows you to merge the design with a model or to make space in Gingiva for each individual restoration. Since 2021, you've also been able to merge the scan of an impression with separate gypsum die scans into a working model for optimal margin visibility. 2022 was a super year for Model Builder. To start with, the orthodontic study model with a style similar to ABO basis was introduced. For cases where 3D printed working models need to be mounted in an articulator, it's now possible to design a magnet retained model that fits a physical articulator. Due to this, the models are positioned the same way in both the virtual and physical articulators. Strong demand for designing models printed with joints resulted in introducing hinged articulator interfaces. From this version onwards, implementation of the articulator interface for XSNAP lets you assemble the printed model and simulate physical articulator movements. Along with the integration with XSNAP, it's now possible to purchase the library to be able to output models that simulate physical articulator movements. The new Choose Scan step of Model Builder allows you to dynamically select which scan from the design case you want to make the model from. For example, the original scan or scan with removed teeth. And one more thing, you can also now output digital models with color information in 3MF format, suitable for printing models in color. The .3MF output is available for both working models and dentures. Speaking of dentures, in 2021, we made it possible to design partial dentures without frames using the full denture workflow, also enabling the simultaneous design of full and partial dentures. Other improvements for the denture workflow include being able to use the RealView engine with smile design images for denture cases, as well as the advanced sculpt tools to finalize the designs with ID tags and stippled wax. Talking about tools, the Gingivator was initially introduced in the full denture workflow, 
and gives full control over the denture gingiva contours with presets and easy adjustment options. You can even create your own custom gingiva profile. In Dental System 2022, a couple of missing links in the denture workflows were fixed with the addition of being able to copy the information from a relined try and denture to the existing design without having to redesign the case from scratch. Finally, also implant supported dentures made their way into Dental System, enabling the design of both screw retained structures as well as the overdenture design on scanned attachments. AI Evolution and AI Revolution We've seen AI help with steps and trivial tasks over the last couple of years, making workflows easier. Now the AI is at a level where it can suggest an end result, removing the need to go through the steps. Simply inspect and produce directly, or choose to adjust to your preferences. 2023 was the year when 3Shape decided to revolutionize how models are made with the introduction of Model Builder Express. Using AI, it quickly and automatically generates unsectioned models according to your preferences. Standalone dies can also be automatically produced. You still have full control and you can make personal adjustments, if needed, with regards to hollowing or adding labels in as little as a single click. It is even possible to save your preferences to make your workflow even faster and easier in the future. And with AI, we're just getting started. The only way to get access to all of these features and functions is to update today. Contact your reseller to update now.